I didn't have time to study for the exam. Do you think I can pass without studying? I wouldn't bet on it. You're right. It's a long shot, isn't it? Exactly. Not a chance. Do you want to go camping this weekend? It'll be awesome. No question about it. Can you improve your English this year? Of course, no doubt about it. Can you win the lottery this year? Well, it's a long shot. I am Bahar and in this video, we're going to learn some English phrases from things that are totally impossible to things that you are 100% sure about. You ready? Let's get into it. So let's start with the phrases that you can use when something is completely impossible. Not a chance. This means there is absolutely no way that thing will happen. You are completely certain that this won't happen. Not a chance. I will wake up early tomorrow without an alarm. There is not a chance it will stop raining by this afternoon. Another way to talk about this kind of situation is not in a million years. This is a kind of exaggerated way to say that something will never happen even after one million years. Pay attention to the S at the end of year. It is not in a million years. Not in a million years will I move to that cold city. He won't stop being late. Not in a million years. She won't talk to her ex-boyfriend anymore. Not in a million years. How about things that you think it's very unlikely, but not impossible? It's a long shot. This phrase is used when something is possible, but very unlikely to happen. Like you are saying, there is a small chance. As I told you, winning the lottery is a long shot. It's a long shot, but maybe we will get the tickets to the concert. Will you visit Paris this year? I don't know. It's a long shot. I wouldn't bet on it. You think something probably won't happen, but you are not completely sure about it. Like you wouldn't bet money on it. I wouldn't bet the weather would be sunny tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on us getting a table at that restaurant without a reservation. Is Sarah coming to the party? I wouldn't bet on it. Now let's talk about things that you are 50% sure about. It's not out of the question. You are saying that that thing is possible even if it seems unlikely, like it could happen. It's not out of the question that we will win the game. It means I am 50% sure about it. It's not out of the question for them to change their minds. I wouldn't be surprised if you're showing that you're 50% sure that that thing will happen. So you're not going to be shocked or surprised if that thing happens. I wouldn't be surprised if they cancel the events. I wouldn't be surprised if you get the promotion. Now let's talk about when you are fairly confident about it. Chances are good. You're saying that is likely to happen. Like there is a good probability. Chances are good that the package will arrive tomorrow. Lots of you guys ask me, will you visit India next year? I would say, yeah, chances are good. I'm pretty sure this shows that you are confident about what you think, but you still think that there is a small chance you might be wrong. I'm pretty sure I left my keys in the car. I'm pretty sure this recipe needs more salt. And the last step is when you are completely, totally sure about something. No question about it. You are absolutely sure and there is no doubt in your mind. He is the best player on the team. No question about it. There is no question about it. This is the best restaurant in town. And the last one, without a doubt. You are 100% sure about it and there is no doubt in your mind so you would say i'm completely sure without a doubt and pay attention that the b is completely silent so you don't have to say it that was without a doubt the best vacation i have ever had without a doubt she will be there on time without a doubt he's going to pass the exam. Now you have learned lots of English phrases that you can use when something is totally impossible to something that you are 100% sure about. If you can make some examples, I will read all of them and I will definitely give you feedback.
And if this video was useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now and like this video to support me and to let the YouTube algorithm know that you have enjoyed this content. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Have a nice day.